Hello my lovelies, so this is Lizzie from Love From Lizzie and today I am bringing you the June 2023 release video. So super hoping that you've come here from the unboxing video of our summer loving kit. Now don't worry I will not be breaking out into song because I can't sing but big fan of it. <laughs> um, so this kit is super bright and cheery and it is absolutely jam packed with all the goodies you can think of. You've got full sets of washi tape, stamps, papers, ephemera, shaker stickers, tiles, it's foam squares, you, you, all the bits. So the kit itself is super jammed. However, should you wish to add a few extras in, like for example, if you're a subscriber, you get free add-on shipping. So once you've paid your invoice for your kit, which is believe eight pounds cheaper when you're subscribed so it, it does make sense if you enjoy kits um once you've paid the shipping on your kit on your invoice you can add anything that you like from the shop as much as you like as well and we won't charge you any extra shipping so i'm going to show you the add-ons that we've got we've also got christmas in june because we wanted to get it out to you in plenty of time so that you can make all your lovely christmas bits um and then we've got our general release as well. So we've got a lot to get through in this video. So I'm, I'm gonna steam ahead. I, just a couple of bits I wanted to make sure that people are aware of. We are fully up to date. All orders, emails have, you know, we, we are, we feel like we're in a really good position right now. We are a really small company. So sometimes it is a little bit tricky to negotiate, but we're doing really well with that. Um, we have had, th we will have had three bank holidays in May. Um, we usually have one at the beginning and one at the end. We had the King's coronation um, a couple of weeks ago, so that did slow us down a little bit, but we are all back ahead where we should be. Um, as you'll be able to tell from this release, it's enormous. So I've been so super busy. I did put out a design team call. Um, I have yet to get through all of the uh, applicants we were inundated which is lovely it's wonderful we will be expanding our design team so there'll be lots of inspiration for all the lovely things that i'm about to show you however for right now let's dig in um so first up we have got the summer loving add-on bundle and in this there are some bits that are featured in the kit that you may just want a bit extra of. So the ephemera that's in the kit, there's a whole nother pack, which is lots of lovely sentiments and there's lots of foiling in there. I do run through all of these bits and pieces in the unboxing video. So if you want to see what's in there, then go ahead. The nine sheets of patterned paper that you get in the kit, um, you'll get a repeat of. There is obviously also um, the oodles of flat colored paper as well, but there are nine double-sided papers. There is an exclusive summer loving um, peel off bundle. So you've got pink holographic mini stars, silver holographic mini hearts, gold moon dust mini circles, and silver moon dust straight. So really nice, bright and shiny. You've got a set of the cut aparts. So if you like the borders and the, the toppers to be able to make your cards up, perfect. And then there are two sheets of A4 silver mirror. Now, this is ever so slightly longer and narrower than American letter. So just bear that in mind um, because some of, you know, sort of like the stitched rectangle dies. If you do that on American letter, you'll get four out on this. You will, you, you will get three, I believe. I'm not sure. There's probably a way to get more, but um, it's slightly different shapes. So just bear that in mind in case you are ordering from the States or Canada or somewhere that predominantly uses American letter. We have also got these super cute vinyl pieces. Um, they are in the, from the same collection as the kit is based on. They are stickers, so you can peel the back up, but you've got butterflies, ice creams, you've got a little hedgehog, of course, in swimming shorts, um, a bear with a rubber ring, frog, a little bunny, that lovely bright rainbow, another butterfly, the cherries, I love the cherries, big cherry fan, fox with an ice cream, hello sunshine, and then another very pretty flower sprig. You must excuse me, I've got adhesive all over my mat, my, my little man helped me make a card for um, 
a very sweet little two-year-old. It was her second birthday, Aurelia. And we used one of um, my previous kits, a little bit of magic to make the card. And Carson got tape everywhere. He, he will learn that a craft mat, while it's there to protect the surface, is also to be kept nice and clean. <laughs> the shaker stickers that feature in the kit, we have more of those. So again, if you really like a shaker, um, you can add some extras on. These are so, so super cute. These are um, little silver foiled ice cream stickers. And they're so, so pretty. Um, and you get lots on there. They're all die cut, so you just pop them off. And they're coloured all the way to the edge. Often with ephemera, you get a white rib ridge around it. But with these, they are printed right up to the very edge. So they are really, very pretty. Let's go in with the whole summer theme. We have, of course, got the peel off bundles. So we have got the pin, which has got orange, yellow, brown and white, which standing separate from the kit doesn't, you know, it, it, it looks like an odd color choice because there's so much blue and green, but there's so much blue and green that we thought we'd put together a bundle that was um, nice, stark contrast so that you can get that real pop off your cards. And this is the variety bundle. So we have got olive green pin, we have got straight in lemon glitter, pin in blue, and we, then we have the sway in green mirror as well. So that's a really pretty bundle to have too. We have got these 12 by 12 stickers. Let me just open this up for you. So there's lots of the cute little boys and girls. You've got the beach towels, the lollipops, uh, a bicycle, a little campfire, some s'mores, a really cute camper van, some water bottles, and a couple of bouquets of flowers, a tent, lots of little bits. And I mean, look, this little squirrel here with its snorkel and a bucket and spade, he's having a lovely time. <laughs> um, some acorns, a little water gun. So yeah, some really pretty icons there in case you wanted to have extra to um, make us focal points. We have got our pearlescent bundle this month, which is eight and a half by 11. It is single-sided pearlescent, and we've got this really lovely orange. We've got a nice baby pink. We've got a true white, lovely deep blue, a turquoise, and a lilac. So they are the six sheets of pearlescent. Those. We have got some die sets as well, and these I thought were really very, very sweet, and I just wanted to have them available in the shop. So we've got this really lovely star border. I've just die cut that out of some um, matte mirror in gold. I thought it was very nice. Um, obviously, we've also got our star borders now. We've, we've got the star flourish dies available, um, and I, I really like stars. I think they, they lend themselves really well for masculine cards. So. Nice and easy, and also we have heart borders, which again, super, super cute. And this I just cut out of some purple pearlescent. It's just one run through the die cut machine. They go through like butter. Um, and again, really lovely to put across the belly of the card or to make um, a landscape card part of the focal point. Hearts work all year round. They're not just for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Next up, we have this deck chair die, and this is a really lovely size for um, a card front. Um, and you could paper piece, or you could die cut this from white and then color in the little flowers that are there. I'm hoping you can pick up all of that detail. The little blooms have got dots etched into them, and you could color the legs brown like they're wood. That's really very sweet, and I'll just die cut that out of some blue pearlescent there. And the final recommended add on for the kit there is a lot of bits in here, and I did die cut it out so I could show you how they look because I know with dyes sometimes it's a little bit tricky to. Oh, come on, aesthetic. Um, sometimes it's a little bit tricky to know, be able to picture what things actually look like. So let's get the little ones first. So there are three bubbles, which I die cut from Silver Mirror. 
and they've got the really cute little um, like air pocket like reflector piece in there let's see if I can get that up close enough so there is some they're not just little circles they do look like bubbles we have a very happy looking octopus we have a very pretty starfish and then we have some sort of I was wondering about which colours to cut everything from so I decided to go for a mixture I hope that's not going to confuse things and I get told off for not doing things in their true colours but there we go so there's some sort of seaweedy type plants you've got a larger fish which is great for paper piecing because all of these little bits and the eye all just fall out so you'd easily be able to pop a bit of tape behind and stick another colour in there this I believe is a piece of um, an additional piece of seaweed so if you wanted to build something up or create your own little look you can you have a smaller version of the fish and this little fish has spots and stripes as opposed to the wiggles that the larger one has I'm very technical today sorry we have an extra special seashell again perfect for paper piecing um, just pop some paper behind um, with some adhesive on and you are set but that is um, the under the sea dies let's just get those off trying to avoid the adhesive that Carson's put all over the mat a little pest okay and so next up we have got Christmas in June so this is an actual Christmas release we have a special edition kit and we have lots of new bits and pieces and we have some previously available pieces that were sold out and we've restocked so hopefully if you missed out last time you should be able to um, indulge this time so I'm going to start with the special edition and it is jam-packed so we might be here a minute or so this is the Christmas in June special edition and the reason that I've, that I've done um, this special edition in the way that I have is because this is early enough for you to really be able to make a big dent in all of those Christmas cards that you're going to want this year so you're going to get a full pot of golden crown love from Lizzie embossing powder it is ultra fine so it's perfect for sentiments tiny little details and obviously you can build on it so once you if you want it to be really thick and chunky you can use use it and whilst it's still slightly tacky once you heat it tip a load more on again and treat that as though it's the watermark ink and just keep going and I'm putting a Versamark cube in because essentially other than glue scissors and card bases most of the thing oh and a die cutter if you're so inclined and a heat gun but other than those sort of very essential tools, you've got everything in here to be able to make an absolute ton of cards. And I'd be really interested to see how many cards someone can make from this. So we have lots of very pretty bows. They're pre-tired. They've got lovely long tails on and they've got the fish tail in. So they're really, really lovely. Let's get them all out for you so you can see. They do match the ribbons. You get a metre of each of the ribbons. So you've got a nice strong blue with holly on it. You've got um, a grogain in red, a candy stripe in white, red and green, a tartan green with red, gold and blue. Then you have the holly printed on satin and this one which almost looks like um, a postal stripe. So they are the six different ribbons that you get and there's a meter of each. And then there are all of these lovely bows. You get two of each ribbon. Um, yeah, and as you can see, they're really pretty, nice big bows as well. So um, you don't need too much extra on your card if you're going to use one of these bows. So, they are there. We have also got some really pretty foiled holly sprigs. There are eight in this kit. 
They are self-adhesive, they just peel up and then you can just stick them straight down onto your card. And they are ever so slightly 3D, I'm hoping you can see that. But it's nice and soft, so it's not like real holly, it's not gonna, it's not gonna prickle you as you're, as you're working. We have got a die. Um, and the die is ever so pretty. And it's Santa Claus with a snowflake, but just so that you've got an idea, here it is, die cut from some gold matte mirror. Um, let's see if I have a card, here we go. So just to give you some perspective, this is a card front, so it is really lovely and big. A real centerpiece and perfect if you wanted to do a landscape card that can be that can be your centerpiece with very little effort so you've got the santa claus die we have got two little clear stamp sets and one is of this very pretty father christmas now i have used because i am not a great colorist i can color but it doesn't come naturally to me like it does with some. So it was one of the reasons I wanted to include the embossing powder in the Versamark because he looks absolutely beautiful when he is heat embossed. Um, and you've also got these stamps and then these are postage marks. You've got Merry Christmas around this one and to the North Pole around this one. And then you have these sort of like um, flourishes and the edge of stamps to you know, create some nice borders and then those postage straps again. So they are in there. You also get two sheets of these faux stamps and they are gold foiled. Um, so it's a double pack. And the best way that I found to work with these is to use your scissors to cut along the middle of um, the little die cut circles because then that way when you take them off all of the half pieces of the circles fall away and you've got your perfect stamp but you've got merry christmas and a happy new year um to someone special with love this christmas to santa tis the season to be jolly merry christmas um really really pretty traditional father christmas sentiments so you get two sheets of those and here you have a whole array of sentiments, Christmas sentiments on vellum. And there is um, two kinds. You've got the gold foiled. And if I've read all of these sentiments out, we will be here all night. So I'm going to flick through them for you. Um, and they are either in gold or black printing. So um, you are not restricted. But there are sheets and sheets and sheets of them. So you will have plenty of options if you didn't want to use a die cutter, if you were away traveling, taking this with you as um, a little you know, travel kit to get ahead with your making. So really very pretty. And obviously the black ones are great for the inside of the card as well. Um, if you didn't want to put a big sentiment on the front, but there are tons of those. We have also got some decoupage, so that you've got some nice toppers if you want to make some of your cards a little bit special. And because we're putting decoupage in, we're also putting in a whole sheet of foam squares. Um, these are the white ones, they're really lovely and super soft, uh, and they're nice and small as well. So they will fit behind the smaller pieces, but you get eight sheets of decoupage. Um, and if you're new to decoupage, all of the sheets are numbered. You start with number one and you pop it out. As you can see, I hope they are all die cut. So you just pop, pop, pop. And you start with number one at the bottom. Then you get number two, you pop a few foam squares behind number two and you layer up the design on top. This, they look exactly the same, however, it's die cut between like around the deer so the deer will stand proud from that background and then number three this is without the wreath and number four is just to give that extra lift number five is the bow number six is the center of the bow and then you've got a couple of extra sentiments there now you can do what i have done previously and that is go every other so like one 
two, three, and then gone one, two, three. So you actually get two out of the one sheet, so you get double bubble. Anywho, so you've got the lovely reindeer there. These three little robin red breasts, and again you've got these lovely additional sentiments. And if you do use them as they're intended, it's one card per sheet. You've got three sentiments there, so you've got plenty left over to play with. Very cute reindeer and snowman and hedgehog scene. And these have, I'm hoping you can see, but they have a little glitter like here on the snowman's hat and scarf. And they're glittered all the way through. Even though you would only see the top one, they are all glittered. So again, if you want to just take this off and use that as a centerpiece on your card and then use the other pieces as decoupage or just to de detail the inside of your card, that also will look lovely. And here's another snowman with um, Christmas treats. Very pretty little robin, sat over some sheet music. Some super glittery little hedgehogs. You can see the glitter really well on this one. It's Christmas wishes and Merry Christmas. And again, some more little robins here. And last but by no means least, we have the reindeer with Tis the Season and with Love at Christmas. So there's that. We have included some pearlescent cardstock so that you have got um, some lovely bits for matting and layering or for using your dye with. There are four sheets and they coordinate perfectly with the colours of the paper. So you've got gold, blue, green and red. So you've got those in there. And here is the Wirra Whopper. You have got 32 sheets of patterned paper. Now this is A4, so it's English sized. Let me just show you with a sheet of American letter. So it is ever so slightly longer. And ever so slightly narrower. So it is mathematically the same amount of paper it's just in a slightly different format so you get two sheets of each design and you've got this really lovely center lots and lots of little centers this almost looks like an advent calendar with all the little doors but they're all postage stamps and here we go so you have this really lovely blue that looks to be almost sparkle there's two sheets of that all these lovely letters to center here you've got this really lovely gold mirror foiled, two different shades of green. So that almost looks like wrapping paper, but really opulent, fancy wrapping paper. We have the same in red with a nice dark red and a light red in that gold mirror. And then we have some holly. Oh gosh. And also this paper, super lovely and thick. So. It's, it's got real stability to it. If you wanted to use some of your foam squares to pop it up, it would definitely stand up to that. Um, and we have some nice holly sprigs over a textured white. And here you've got it over the red. Lots of very cheerful Christmas sentiments. May your days be merry and bright. Do not open till the 25th of December. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. To someone special with love. And you could quite easily clip some of these little pieces out and create your own collage if you wanted to. And then you have exactly the same again in more of a vintage muted tone. This looks quite distressed almost. Really very pretty traditional tartan. And then we have a lovely blue with the holly and again all the ribbon. It, everything matches in together so it will all make putting your cards together super straightforward. And then you have that lovely muted text with the holly on top. Let me see if I can bring that up. So you can't quite read what it says, um, but you can see that there's some words there. <laughs> the candy canes. Certainly one of my little pig's favourite things about Christmas. And here you have that lovely text again, but this, these sheets are gold foiled. And then you have that over that really nice striking blue as well with the gold really really opulent sort of thing i'd expect to see in the rinse 
And then here you have um, the postage stamps with little scenes. So you've got the stockings, you've got the drum with the present, the teddy bear and the drum, the candy canes, some wooden blocks, little traditional wooden blocks. So yeah, really, really very pretty. And then here we are, back to the centre. So that in its entirety is our special edition Christmas in June kit. Um, and again, because of the volume of the pattern paper there is, all the bows, the ribbons, the stamps, the decoupage, I think that as long as you are willing to add a metric ton of cardstock, you will be going for a very long time making cards with this. So it's um, going to keep you nice and busy and out of mischief. I will be making some cards here. I have promised to make another five with my Liberty kit, which I released last month um, for the 4th of July, which has gone down an absolute storm, I'm very happy to say. Um, it's a really, really pretty kit. I love the little lash girls, and they're very, very sweet, dressed up as the Statue of Liberty, I must say. Um, right, so that is the Christmas in June. And because we have done that release. Please excuse my head. Um, we have brought in some extra Christmas bits. So we do have a very limited edition, very limited edition Christmas peel-off pack. The reason this is so limited is it has our bubble peel-offs, which we have actually retired. So there is a red mirror and a green mirror bubble. We've also got straight in both, um, sorry, sway in both gold glitter and silver mirror silver and gold glitter sadly also have been retired so um, and then we have the regular red and green um, so this bundle is only there while it lasts I'm afraid um, we also have from previously out of stock situations the adore him stamp set pattern papers and ephemera again this is under very limited stock um, but it was so super popular previously that we have brought a few more in we have got some lovely videos um, from our design team members if you would like to have a look at some inspiration but this is um the lash three kings and joseph mary and baby jesus and there's some really lovely sentiments here as well um, for both the outside and the inside of the card um, 24 sheets of double-sided patterned papers and then the full ephemera pack. They are all individual items um, but they are there in the Christmas category and our Christmas category is enormous. Um, I didn't want to show everything today because otherwise we'd be here all night. Um, so I'm only showing you the new things and a couple of bits and pieces. So we have also got some new Christmas dyes. Very, very pretty. Now, we have got four new shadow dies, and I've die cut these out because showing you the dies is doesn't really do much. But you get two pieces in your bag, and there's a shadow. And this is just purple pearlescent over white pearlescent, so naughty or nice. Now, had I have done it the other way around, I would have been able to color the little le holly leaves green and the berries red. Um, but I actually quite like it like this as well. Very pretty. But there's Naughty or Nice. There is Have a Holly Jolly Christmas. And that's with Silver Mirror over the White Pearlescent. Which is, that's, that's kind of my speed I think when it comes to, to uh, Christmas. I like silvers, whites and pale blues. Um, I love the traditional look, but whenever I'm decorating my house, it always seems to go to the really clean colours. So here I've got red pearlescent with that gold matte mirror. Santa, please stop here. Because obviously we have this, the big Santa theme to um, the Christmas in June kit. I really liked that. And we also have the most wonderful time of the year. So this is obviously the two dies, die cut from separate pieces. And for this, to, to glue these down, because obviously they are they're quite small, you could use a Xyron machine, which would be great, because then you put it on the back of the white before you die cut it, and then it's done. But I just used a quickie glue pen, and it really is quickie. <laughs> you flip it over, 
you make sure you dot all around the very edges because they're the bits that will lift and then run around the middle bits and it, it didn't take anywhere near as long as it should have done so I have a strong recommend, recommendation for the quickie glue pen if you don't have one so these are the four shadow dies we have and then we have three other little ones so these are just nice little mini sentiment dies we have tis the season and we have festive wishes and last but by no means least we have 25th December well deck <laughs> 25th of December so they are our dives we have also got some decoupage packs because again when you're making what feels like a gazillion Christmas cards there are some people that deserve an extra special one and these I find they're, they're it's almost um, it's almost mindful doing decoupage same as before they're all numbered um, this is the rosy Christmas and you get eight sheets in this pack and it's got that lovely rose gold glitter with grey and white so very easy to match up to products that you already have and in this pack as well you will get a full sheet of foam squares so they are your eight designs but again these can easily be stretched to 16 um, if you want them to go that little bit further we have got Red Robin which are the decoupage um, sheets that were featured in the Christmas in June special edition so you have seen these but I will run through them again super quick There you go. And they're nice for when you're just watching the telly. They're really easy. You pop them out and, you know, I, I take them when my little man plays cricket and he had his first match last weekend, which was lovely. Um, but yeah, these, these are perfect. This is the Twilight, which was um, a special edition and um, it's sold out in absolutely no time. Um, so we were really pleased to be able to re-release some of these and it's that lovely navy and white with silver glitter and the most wonderful time of the year winter wishes merry christmas some really pretty snowflakes with extra tags available lots of lovely pretty things and then we have santa's little helper so, deck of foam sheets, and again, this was another um, special edition Christmas kit that we did, and these have all got glitter. All, all of the um, decoupage bundles have glitter. Really lovely, shiny, cheerful designs. The little centre. It looks like Ben and Holly centre. Um, it's a TV programme that Pig watched incessantly for about six months watching the same episodes over and over <laughs> um but yes so they are the four decoupage packs and now i will quickly run through what we have in the general release now um these are products from the magnolia lane so you have the six by six pattern papers there are 24 single-sided sheets you have the ephemera that's featured in the kit so this is all the floral wreaths and the blooms and um, the sentiment ephemera is still there so if you missed out on the kit because it did sell out super quick last month um you can get the sentiment ephemera the ephemera the pattern papers and the stamp set so there are some elements that you can build up and we've got heartfelt hugs here for you always for my darling friend thinking of you and with deepest sympathies we've also got the peel offs which is a mauve mirror with a gold overlay. So it's, um, let's just pop one up here to show you. So it's that lovely, lovely mauve mirror and it's just got this slight hint 
of gold shining on the edge of it. So that's there you go. And then we've also got a pack of glue dots. So you get 16 in a pack. Um, and really, really handy. Really super handy. One of my favourite products. So that is all of the new release. That obviously took a while. I'm sorry about that. Um, and we are just recommending a few bits and pieces that you may already have from previous releases that would work really well. So we have... Um, the Let It Snow Diet, which is one of my all-time favourites. That gets reached for a lot. Um, this beautiful little stamp set, Jingle All The Way, Joy To The World and Merry Christmas. And then a few little building up bits and pieces. We have a bauble die. A very pretty angel with the Star of Bethlehem die. And walking in a winter wonderland. This is a two-part die that has a shadow, so you can make a shaker window with that die, which is lovely. And we have some of our very pretty, sparkly little gems and dots, which will work really nicely to pull a bit of sparkle into Christmas. So, my lovelies, everything that I've just showed you, if it was a, bit, a little bit overwhelming, there's going to be pictures up shortly, so you can have a look through those. We have got everything in the June 2023 release category in the shop. We have got all the things that we recommend as add-ons to the kit going to be in the add-on tab. And we have got all things Christmas in the Christmas category. So I hope that this has all worked for you. I will just very quickly show you my somewhat used Liberty kit again. Um, so I've used some of the cardstock and some of the bits and pieces. Um, and just to do a run through, I made five cards last month. Um, and I will be making another five using the stamps, the ephemera and the pattern papers and peel-offs that came with. Um, yeah, so I will be endeavouring to make some more. Um, so you can keep your eyes peeled for that video. And I hope you've liked everything and thank you ever so much for sticking with me till the end. That was real commitment on your part. Thank you. And until next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.